Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 4.11 p.m., and it's Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing a new Uptime Energy Drink. I got it about a month ago at a Love's gas station. It was like around $2.30, so you know, it was okay priced. But anyway, yesterday I reviewed the original version of this. Today I'm reviewing the sugar-free version. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the sugar-free white peach lemonade Uptime Energy Drink. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. 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 Ball's about the size of my head, so you know. And it's cool because it's resealable, so you can like drink some and then drink some later. You know what I mean? And it's in an aluminum bottle, so it's like tough, you know. Um, it has a white top lid. And the bomb's expiration date and um, production code. Um, June 17th, 2021, so it's still fresh for a while. Uptime. Mental physical energy drink, white peach lemonade with other natural flavors, sugar-free, natural caffeine, L-theanine, 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters. Shows a brain, a guy running, and a lightning bolt. Uptime. Awaken the senses with a refreshing and sparkling blend of white peach, lemonade, and other natural flavors. Our exclusive blend of ingredients will help you perform at your best. Uptime. How energy should feel. Has SKU, some other code, and some recycling stuff. Non-GMO, gluten-free. Try Uptime tablets. It has some recycling stuff. Uptime White Peach Lemonade. Contains no fruit juice. Nutrition pack, serving size 1 bottle. Amount per serving calories 5. Total fat 0 grams, 0 percent. Sodium 0 milligrams, 0 percent. Total carbohydrates 1 gram, 0 percent. Protein 0 grams. Vitamin C 15 percent. Calcium 10 percent. Has other ingredients. Has COQ10. Um, distributed by Uptime Energy Incorporated, Los Angeles, California, 91406 USA. The number is 800-441-5656. UptimeEnergy.com contains 142 milligrams of natural caffeine. This part is not intended slash recommended for children and those sensitive to caffeine, pregnant nursing women and those with a medical condition, and those taking medication, so consult a healthcare professional before use. I had to turn my car AC on. You know, it's getting hot. It's 86 degrees, it says. But anyway... That's pretty much the whole bottle. Anyway, I'll let you see it real quick. I like the look of the bottle too, you know. Not a lot of stuff on the bottle, you know, to show off. I like the color with the yellow and stuff. It looks cool. But I think I like the black one better with the yellow. Um, this one still looks good, but um, you know, I like the other one better, design-wise, anyway, with the colors and stuff. But anyway, here's the bottle. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Here's the nutrition facts. And other ingredients. The distributor information. And the warning and stuff. The recycling stuff. Okay, that's pretty much the whole bottle. And I'm going to shake it up a little bit right quick, then open it, taste it, and give my review for it. Probably shouldn't shake it up too much because the one I had yesterday exploded. Um, but anyway, also, I forgot to mention, my arm is, like, all bandaged up, you know, because, um, you know, the Saturday before this last Saturday, so, um, nine days ago, um, I got burned, you know, I think I talked about it in one of my reviews, um, but anyway, it was almost healed, but today at work, like, um, you know, I had the, like, cardboard boxes, you know, and, like, um, my arm hit, like, the corner of the cardboard box, and, like, went at an angle and it hit my scab and it, like ripped my whole scab off and it started bleeding like really bad so I put band-aids on it and then one of the girls at work um she actually is my neighbor she lives behind me in the house behind my house you want me and so on the other street um anyway she put a napkin over the band-aids and some tape and then my boss um well the plant guy the supervisor I guess um, he put it in, like, the bandage wrap over it, too. 
so I want to come off, you know? But anyway, yeah. So I'll probably have to wait like another week before it's healed now. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna try to not put it near my tablet this time. Because, you know, I don't want it to explode everywhere on my tablet. I'm making it sticky, you know, like yesterday. Okay. Should be okay. Nothing inside the lid. Anyway, the color's clear. It's bubbling. It's starting to bubble a lot now. ASMR. Probably shouldn't hold it too close to my tablet. Since it's sparkling, you know. It's bubbling out of it, you know. But anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's probably gonna get on my glasses. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It smells like the one I had yesterday. Very peachy. Like really peachy. Very sweet smelling. This one's probably gonna be really good, even though it's a sugar-free one. I don't really like the sugar-free um, blood orange one, but I actually like the normal sugar-free um, uptime better than the original uptime. So we shall see about this one. I'll probably like this one though, because it smells like really lit. It smells just like the one I had yesterday. A very peachy smell. It smells like the discontinued Rockstar Sparkling Energy Drink. A little bit like the Peach Monster Rehab but without the tea, you know. It smells really fruity, very citrusy. Um, definitely really peachy. But anyway, I'm gonna try it. So here goes. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, especially for a sugar-free one, this one's like really good, really lit. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Probably one of my favorite sugar-free energy drinks. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Really lit, very sweet, really good, um, fruity, sweet peach flavor. And the lemonade makes it a little bit tart and tangy. A little bit of a citrusy zip to it, I guess. But it's definitely really citrusy peach. It's mostly the peach, though. Um, I'd probably say it's at least 80% peach and then like 20% like lemonade. So, you know, it's like really peachy. Like really peachy, you know? It's good. It tastes basically the same as the one I had yesterday. So for a little bit less sweet. Even though it's sugar-free, it's still like really sweet though. But it does have a little bit of that sugar-free aftertaste. But um, it's not too bad though. Smooth. A little bit like um, like grape juice, um, I guess, consistency-wise, you know. It's pretty smooth, even though it's a little bit carbonated, you know. Probably chug the whole bottle if I wanted to. But yeah, it's not too fizzy. But yeah, it's really good, really lit. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah. Really lit. Um, I still prefer the original one over this one, but this one's still really good, especially for a sugar-free energy drink. Like, it's really good. Oh yeah. Probably one of my favorite sugar-free energy drinks. So, you know. Has a cool ball design, I like the look of it. It's okay price is around $2.30 at the Love's gas station. Energy-wise, I'd say it lasts about three and a half hours, about four and a half hours of energy, so it works pretty good. The taste is really good, really peachy. A little bit of a tart, tangy lemonade part to it, but um, it's mostly just peach, though. So if you like peach, you'll probably like this. Really good. Um, I like it, but um, I still prefer the original one over this one, but this one's still really good. But anyway, I'm going to give the white peach lemonade sugar-free uptime energy drink. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's lit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's lit. Definitely try it if you can find it. Highly recommend you trying this. It's probably one of my favorite sugar-free energy drinks, you know. Um, energy-wise, it works good. It's okay price. It has a cool design. Um, you can resell it so you can drink some and then drink some later. Um, it's really good, but um, compared to the original one, um, I like the original one more, so I give the original one a 10, but this one I would give a 9 out of 10. But um, if I compared it to, like, other sugar-free energy drinks, probably be one of my favorites, though, so, you know. 
yeah boys it's lit oh yeah and definitely try to even find it. it's really good highly recommend it i go to nine out of ten. Oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah definitely tried it. it's really lit anyway my next review is going to be my last energy drink review for a little while at least till i can find some new energy drinks to review um or if i wait till new ones come out you know um, but anyway, my next review is going to be the only drink I found in Tulsa this past weekend. I went to GNC. I was going to try to get the new Silver 3D Energy Drink. The Chrome one, anyway. I think it's like a, um, I think a pink lemonade flavor, I think. Or cherry limeade, I'm not for sure. I can't remember. Um, but there's also a new Ray's Energy Drink. It's a Baja Lime. I think it's like similar to the Baja Blast Mountain Dew. Um, they didn't have that either. So, you know. They only had one new energy drink, and someone I'm going to be reviewing tomorrow. So, you know. Well, in my next review, anyway. But anyway, stay tuned for upcoming reviews. So, more videos. Um, also, um, an image came out today of two new juice monsters that are going to be coming out later this year. Um, hopefully they won't get delayed, you know, because of that, um, pandemic and stuff. Um, but as of right now, they're supposed to be coming out this year. Um, anyway, um, there's two new juice monsters. Um, one of them sounds similar to one of the other juice monsters, and I already heard rumors that was being discontinued. So this one of them might replace the, that one, which is the Chaos one, which that was actually one of my favorite juice monsters. It actually is my favorite, besides Pipeline Punch. I like Chaos better than the Pacific Punch in the, um, Mango Loco. Mango Loco is my worst favorite, you know, of the, well, least favorite of the juice monsters. But anyway, the ones that are coming out are called Mariposa. It has butterflies on it, and also Chaotic, and it has butterflies on it. So it's cool that they're both um, butterflies. And the profile that posted it that I've seen anyway, I don't know if he's like the source or whatever. It's a monster creaky. But yeah, it's um, Juice Monster Mariposa and Chaotic. I don't know if you can see it too well, but anyway. I'll review them once they come out, you know, so, you know, look forward to those reviews. And, um, anyway, so, anyway, also, I got a cash app recently. Um, I was gonna, like, promote it, like, after my video starting after the Neon Indie Girl tribute. That was before, like, um, I had delayed it, because, you know, I was procrastinating and stuff. Um, but anyway, um, I'm not really for sure if right now is a good time to, you know, reveal that I have a cash up because you know the pandemic and you know what's going on right now um the black lives matter stuff you know I'm not really for sure if it's a good idea you know to do like um give you this info you know for you to donate to me anyway but um anyway you know what I mean but um this isn't like a mandatory thing it's just if you want to help out with my channel um help me get like more energy drinks to review and maybe, um, one day, it's like one of my dreams, go to, like, countries and review their drinks in those countries, you know? But I'll have to wait for, like, the pandemic and stuff, you know, to do the air travel and stuff anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got a, um, cash app. Um, the username is, um, well, it's the money sign and then dead carpet one. Let's see, you know, I'll try to show it to you. Um, but yeah, if you want to donate to me, you can, um, I'm going to put the info, like, in the description of my videos, but, um, I'm not going to be, like, promoting it in each video, you know, like a lot of other YouTubers promote their GoFundMes and, like, Patreons and stuff. Um, and it's just, like, a side thing, you know, I'm not worried about it too much, you know, but I'm still thinking about coming out with some merch, like a shirt, um, one of my friends at work said if I came out with a shirt, he would buy it, you know. And also, I might be coming out with something that's, I guess, energy drink related. So, you know, yeah. But anyway, still more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And um, if you want to donate, it also could help with me getting, like, um, better video equipment, like a camera and better laptop, you know, for video editing. Um, but anyway, yeah. Peace out. And bye.